Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached peak Vanguard. Thanks to the return of the number one archetype of the game. Let's welcome our Blau Overlords. Hey Carfathers, welcome back to another Carfath update and yes I know this is a late one but that's because of certain facts that I couldn't work on this video and it definitely has to do with the fact that I was lazy. So the Friday livestream happened and per usual that means we get some new cards but I personally thought that there wasn't really anything to be revealed this week as we've got almost all the cards for Phantom Dragon Aeon so I thought we wouldn't get even anything of interest and that is the case for that particular set but unbeknownst to me personally was the fact that we also would get some Nova Grubbler reveals for the set afterwards, Blue Cavalry or something like that. And surprisingly, uh, that meant the return of the Blau archetype for Nova Grappler, which is one of my personal favorite archetypes in Card Fight Vanguard. So I'm very happy that they returned and they are also looking pretty interesting. But before we go into those cards, let's talk about the new Mega Colony machining cards that we've got revealed for VBT 10 Phantom Dragon Aeon. And the first card that we're going to start off is this great one, which is Machining Cybister. And its ability is auto on rigged circle. When rest by your card's ability, look at the free cards from the top of your deck, call to one card with machining in its card name from among them to the rigged circle and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. This ability may only be used by a card with the same card name once per turn. So it has the hard once per turn restriction. So what this basically does is when it gets rested by one of your effects, you can check top three for machining card and call to the field, which is basically a free plus one. Top three for machining is actually quite doable because we have a lot of machining cards now with these new additions because we've got three new machining cards for Mega Connolly and with the already existing machining cards, we basically can almost build an entire deck out of machining cards except for the triggers, of course. So this is actually a pretty good consistency bump which can give you free pluses. And this card can be rested via various card effects. The two new machining cards that are revealed in this set can rest it but we also have something like machining ornamental or lady bomber that can also rest this card on demand so it's actually quite easy to use this card in the machining deck so it's a nice addition for machining but definitely won't do a lot for mega colony as a whole as you're going to see with the next coming cards because Machining is still a pretty awkward archetype, but we get to that in a second. Now, the second card that was revealed for Machining is this great to Machining Scatter Horn. And th this, together with Machining Mantis, are the only Machining Great 2s that we've got so far. And its ability is Auto and Vanguard the Rigged Circle. When placed from hand, look at the six cards from the top of your deck, reveal up to one card with Machining in its card name, other than Great 2 from among them, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. If you put a card into your hand, put a card from your hand into the soul. So this basically allows you to check top six for free, get a machining card that is either a grade one or a grade three. There are, as far as I'm aware, no grade zeros except for the stutter, and you can add them to your hands. So that's actually a pretty good filter effect. And then on top of that, if you add someone, you can put something in the soul. So this isn't a direct plus per se, but because it allows you to put a card in your soul. This is actually pretty interesting because this can synergize quite nicely with a lot of things within Mega Colony. As seen as a lot of cards within Mega Colony either need specific Great Freeze in the soul or a certain amount of Great Freeze in the soul or they want to soul bless Great Freeze. A good example are of course the VRs within Mega Colony or and Lion that wants to soul bless Great Freeze. We also have the new promo that can soul bless Great Freeze for a protect marker. So this allows you to facilitate that. And in the machining archetype, this also works quite nicely because you have something like machining stack beetle that wants to call out multiple high graded units or a lot of good value cards. And with this card, you can set up something for something like uh, machining stack beetle. And of course it just generates soul in general, which can be really nicely for other soul blessing skills, like the second effect of machining Scatterhorn, which is act on Vanguard the Rigor circle once per turn costs soul bless one and rest a rearguard with machining in its card name so this could potentially rest the great one 
Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and that unit cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase. So you get a stun effect on a unit at your choosing, which could be nice, but with other cards within the machining archetype, this might or not actually matter all that much because something like machining ornamental, which is actually pretty good with machining scatterhorn, can already force your opponent to only stand to units at their next stand phase so then stunning an extra unit doesn't really do anything because they can probably only stand two of their units and up their entire board now the third machining card that we got is machining meteor bullet a new grade free machining card and its ability is continuous of anger to rearguard circle if you have five or more rearguards all of your rearguards with machining in the card name gets boost this is somewhat important but we get to that in a second then the second ability is act of anger to rearguard circle once per turn costs Rest another rearguard with machine in this card name, and this unit gets power plus 10k until the end of turn. So this could make this into a 20k unit with that swings for a decent number, or it could be a booster thanks to its effect. Now, where this card comes into play for the machine archetype comes in the fact that this card allows you to give all your units boost. And so far, most of the machining archetype powerful cards are great freeze. We have Machining Ornamental, we have now Machining Meteor Bullet, we also have Machining Centipede, we also have the old VR Spark Hercules, we also have Machining Stack Beetle. All the main archetype support cards or powerful cards within the Machining Archetype are Grade Freeze. We only have two Grade 2s and if I'm correct, three Grade 1s. And that makes this quite awkward, but thanks to Meteor Bullet, at least our Grade Freeze gets the boost ability but then again because we have another great free that allows us to do this that means we have even more great frees in the machining archetype and besides these three support cards there is some awkwardness going on in the machining archetype because of all the sub archetypes that bush road made the machining archetype is the only one that doesn't have a clear game plan every other archetype they made before has a very good foundation or a very solid game plan think of blue wings think of seven seas even think of gun salute dragon for that matter which is a budget archetype for pill moon and even the new blouse that we're going to tackle in the second part of this video is even a better sub archetype that's just very good at what it wants to do and has a solid singular focus the machining archetype doesn't really have that because all their great frees do somewhat work together but at the same time make them a bit redundant so because what's the point of using spark hercules by putting all your opponents regards minus 5k power if you then use something like a centipede that then removes boost intercept and twin drive of the unit and then you have ornamental that then only force your opponent to choose two of their units to stand. All these cards are annoying and they might make your opponent feel less desirable, but at the same time, they overlap only to each other, which makes their skill a bit redundant. And that's the problem with the machining archetype so far, is that they don't have a clear game plan. In their, and then on top of that, in their support line, the great ones and the great twos, they also don't really synergize all that greatly with what the great threes are doing, which makes it even more annoying. And then on top of that, two of the machining archetypes, which are machining Hornet and machining Mantis, are just very generic mega colony cards. They have absolutely nothing to do with the machining archetype besides that they can fetch you great threes, which most of the machining archetypes revolve around. So yeah, so far the machining archetype doesn't really look all too hot in my honest opinion. And these cards just add on top of the issues that machining already has because these cards feel even more different than what machining already wanted to do in the previous sets. So yeah, I don't know what the idea behind the machining archetype is for, for Mega Conley, what Bouchard has in mind for them, but so far it isn't looking to be really solid. And the fact that this is a triple R, yeah, that doesn't really make it all that better. So with those disappointing cards from Mega Conley out of the way, let's take a look at how an actual sub archetype and potentially budget build should look like because we're now going to go into the new card for vbt11 storm of the blue cavalry that's the name of the set and we're going to talk about some nova grappla cards which of course are going to be the new blau archetype so the first card that they revealed and where we're going to start off things is of course the new starter for this archetype which is blau junger and blau junger is just a generic starter so there's nothing really to talk about but 
it's a nice artwork and it's a good place to start kicking off these new series. So the first support card is the great one in the right chain, which is Blau Panzer. And Blau Panzer's abilities are auto and finger circle. When placed by riding from Blau Junger, look the five cards on the top of your deck, review up to one card with Blau and his card name from among them, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So if you can ride this, because you're always gonna have Blau Junger as your starter if you're gonna play Blaus, then you can activate its skill. And checking top five to review any Blaus is actually pretty good because all the cards in the engine has Blau in the name. We have Blau Panzer himself, we have Blau Kluger, which is the grade two, we have Stern Blau Kluger, which is one of the grade threes, and we also have Galaxy Blau Kluger. So in itself, we already have four specific cards, which probably all gonna be a four off, so that's 16 targets to hit in your top five, which is actually pretty solid. But then on top of that, we also have a second ability, which is Auto Rigor Circle. When placed, cost discard a trigger unit from your hand, Search your deck for up to one great free card with Blau in its card name, review it and put it into your head and shuffle your deck. So this effect allows you to search out either Stern Blau Kluger or Galaxy Blau Kluger. Both of them are vital to the strategy for Blau. So the fact that you can use this card to just physically search them out from your deck is actually pretty good. Yes, discarding a trigger is a heavy cost because that's a lot of shield value you're trading off for a great free, which is zero shield value. But seeing as what the Blau engine wants to do, this might actually be worth it, especially in a premium environment, but we get to that at the end of the video. So overall, a pretty solid skill. And don't forget, if you're gonna run draw triggers, then the trade-off is actually less impactful because if you run a normal draw trigger that's only 5k shield power you're sacrificing so that might not be all that bad now there's a great two in this right chain and arguably one of the more important ones here is blau kluger and this great two has the following skills although a finger circle when placed cost counter best one look at the seven cards from the top of your deck reveal to one card with blau's card name from among them Put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. So same scenario as with the grade one, you can hit the grade one, the grade two, and both grade threes, which are pretty solid and you're probably gonna hit what you need. And together with the grade one, you can set up your end game hand and basically go from there. So really solid skill. But then its second ability is arguably the important part here because you need Blau Kluger in your soul to actually do your combos. And its second ability enables this even if you cannot ride it as its second ability is on a rigged circle. At the end of the battle it attacked, if you have a Vanguard with Blau in its card name, cost, put this unit into your soul and draw a card. So this is similar to what we've seen on Coral Assault and something like Battle uh, Siren Nerissa. These type of effects are always good. Getting an attack off and then put it into the soul to draw a card to then get the card back but safely in your hand is a powerful skill. But on top of that we've got the Vanguard skill which increases the consistency of the deck and we have a very powerful card on our hand so Blau Kluger is a really solid card. But now we get to the end game scenario and we're gonna look at the great freeze that actually work with Blau Kluger and allows us to kill and win games. And the first one I'm gonna take a look at is Stern Blau Kluger and its abilities are continuous of Vanguard Circle. During your turn if your soul has Blau Kluger all of your great free units with Blau in the card name, get power plus 10k. This also includes the Vanguard, so if you have the grade two in Soul, this is a 22k unit that on attack. And then of course we have also have Gla Galaxy Blau Kluger, so that's another 22k unit on the record column, or 27 on an Axel 2, which are pretty decent numbers. But then on top of that, we also have this following ability. Auto of Vanguard Circle, at the end of the battle it attacked, cost discard two cards from your hand, Choose a Galaxy Blau Kluger on your rearguard circle, bind it, write that card as stand, and that unit gets drive minus one until the end of turn. So basically you rewrite a unit from your rearguard circle onto your Vanguard. This means that you can first swing with that rearguard and then also swing with it as a Vanguard, which is actually pretty nice because it enables multi-tech without actually sacrificing certain resources or units from your hand, which is actually pretty good because normally you will then ride from hands, but in this case you can ride it from the rearguard circle so you can at least get the attack off of that unit. So more pressure and 
Galaxy Blaukluger is a great free, so that is also a solid 22 to 27k attack. And the fact that you need to discard 2 and then get drive minus 1 doesn't really matter all that much in an Exile 2 in a situation, because you break even as you also get the draw of the Exile 2 itself, so that's pretty nice. Now the only interesting part here is the fact that you need to bind the Galaxy Blaukluger of your regular circle, so I'm curious of why they went with that approach, that you specifically need to bind it and then ride it, and not just immediately ride it from the record circuit because so far I think nothing in Nova Grappler actually matters that you need to write it directly from the record circuit so I'm curious what the whole approach that you need to bind it because it's not really necessary as in the past we had cards in Vanguard that just could rewrite them immediately from the record circle on top of the Vanguard circle this isn't something new so I'm curious if there's something else in this set that might interact with that aspect but that's just pure speculation. Now, with that said, let's take a look at Galaxy Blau Kluger, as that is, of course, a second Vanguard attack, and that basically completes the whole package here. As Galaxy Blau Kluger is yet another great free for your Blaus, and its abilities are continuous a Vanguard Circle. During your turn, if your soul is Blau Kluger, all of your great frees with Blaus in their card names get power plus 10k. So the exact same skill to power up the front row with your great frees. So yet again, the second Vanguard attack will also swing in with 22k power. Then he also has a skill, although in Vanguard Circle, when it attacks, cost counter bless one call up to one stern blow kluger from your soul to the rear guard circle so this means if you have stern blow kluger as your first finger you could attack with the galaxy on the rear guard circle then attack with your stern then rewrite into galaxy then attack with galaxy then call out the stern and then attack again with stern and all of those cards attack for at least 22k power if not more which is pretty good and you don't have to call the stern on top of one of your units because for one the galaxy makes space but the moment you ride with Galaxy, you also create an Excel marker, so you have even more space on the board, which is pretty good. But it also has a third skill, which is pretty interesting, because this allows us to do this in an infinite loop situation. Because its third skill is auto when rode upon by a unit with blau in its card name, you may call this card to the rear guard circle. So basically, if you went into stern, did the superior right into galaxy and call down the stern to the rear guard circle. If you have another stern in your hand, then next turn, you can write the stern, call out the galaxy and do it once again. So you can basically do this turn after turn and you're not stuck on the galaxy and then next turn you need to have another stern and another galaxy in your hand to actually do the combo. That is not necessarily with this interaction, which is really good. Now, with that said, there is something interesting that happens in premium because, of course, blouse is also playable in premium. But because of their specific blouse strides, you can do a very explosive first try turn. Because the blouse strides are limit break 4 and limit break 5. Yes, it's quite annoying, but there are ways that you can enable those skills no matter what the situations so if you could activate their their skill they basically allow you to write a blau card from your hand onto the vanguard circle and then attack again if you are aware of what these cards can do then you can see the synergy be between these cards because in premium, you actually want to ride Galaxy Blau Kluger first. Not Stern, you want to ride Galaxy Blau Kluger first. You ride Galaxy, then stride into one of those specific Blau cards, whichever can activate a turn, then attack with the Vanguard, which is then 27 or something in that vein, then use this ability to rewrite a Stern from your hand onto the Vanguard Circle, which then activates galaxy so you pop it out onto the field you then get another axle marker you attack with the stern then use stern's ability to then rewrite the galaxy and then use galaxy to attack again and then call out the stern and doing this on your first try turn allows you to generate three axle markers attack thrice with the vanguard and get at least two other rear guard swings that are at least 27k because you're just call, uh, gonna call them onto extra circles and that's without any other rear guard attacks featured in this is just the main combo of the stride for into galaxy into stern then calling out the galaxy attack with galaxy then attack with stern rewrite galaxy then attack with galaxy and call out stern and attack with stern and then we also have all the other rear guards in between that can potentially attack if you have a lot of counter blast to spare you even have a card that can restand every single time that your vanguard attacks but it costs a surplus of resources but if you have the resources then you can go ahead and do that as well so in premium blouse is actually pretty interesting it's probably not going to be top tier but it's really interesting to think 
think about. This is also the same case in standard, but standard actually has another tool to the disposal because yes, I said you could do the infinite pseudo uh, loop that you can go from galaxy into stern into stern into galaxy, galaxy into stern, stern and galaxy every single turn. But the problem is if you go from stern into galaxy and you pop out stern, you still need to have another stern in your hand to actually write next turn and do the whole riddle again. But thanks to another support card, we can actually do this without needing another stern in our hand. Because we've got a card like Morganrod. This grade 1 support card finished the entire Blau engine and actually allows this deck to be very consistent. Because its ability is auto and rigor circle. At the end of the turn, cause retire this unit and return one of your rear guards with Blau and its card name to your hand. So this allows us at the end of the Great Free Superior Right combo to retire it and bounce back the stern into our hand. And then next turn we can write the stern to pop out the galaxy and do the whole thing again. Besides that, this card allows us to also increase the early game consistency. Because this whole engine revolves around the fact that we have a stern and a galaxy in our hand. It doesn't matter if we're forced to write the galaxy first and then the following turn we can write stern because of the fact that galaxy can pop out and we can still do the whole scenario and the whole uh, combo. But we still need those two specific cards. One way to forcefully get those cards is thanks to the great one blau panzer. If we call to the rigor circle we can use its effect. Now thanks to Morganrod, we could potentially bounce back the panzer in the early game to call it again and fetch the other great free so we can set up for next turn and you might need to forcefully do this in certain scenarios if you for, for a reason need to ride Panzer and need to fetch a Blau Kluger because without Blau Kluger you don't have the power and without the power it's probably not powerful enough to actually close games. So in some scenarios you're forced to get the Blau uh, Kluger first and then focus on getting the stern and galaxy afterwards so there are some scenarios that this might actually be a very important interaction that can come up to once and twice so keep in mind that Morgoroth is an insanely powerful tool in the early game as well as in the mid to late game. And that basically wraps up all the cards that we've got for these reveals. It was actually quite a lot because on top of the machining cards, which are questionable at best, we also got this whole entire engine for Novo Grappler, which is the new Blau archetype, which is probably already complete. I don't think they need actually something else. There are probably going to be some generic support cards within Storm of the Blue Cavalry for Nova Grappler, but we have to wait and see how good it might interact with this Blau engine. But I think we already seen everything and this is what the deck is going to do. And it looks to be a very interesting deck. And even with the premium support, it's also a pretty fun deck in premium. Definitely not going to be top tier. I'm not going to say that that's going to be the case. But it's definitely a very interesting and explosive deck. That could potentially win games out of nowhere. If your opponent is paying attention. And easily gave you the limit break 4 or limit break 5 criteria. You could just explode onto their board. And just do all crazy things. So yeah. Personally I'm very happy the Blouse are returning to Vanguard. It's one of my favorite archetypes. And I cannot wait till we get these cards in the English format. It still takes quite a while, it's a couple of months away, but I can definitely wait the couple of months before we get this set in the English format as well. But with that said, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these new cards for as well, Machinings and for Nova Grappler. Maybe I overlooked something for the, for the Machining archetype, maybe there's actually something there, but I personally do not see the actual potential in these cards or that whole sub archetype. I think they're quite awkward, they're underpowered and just really... There, there's not really a lot of synergy between them that's powerful enough to actually matter in the current environment for Vanguard. But I may be wrong here, so let me know in the comments down below if there's something I'm overlooking here. As always, this video has been brought to you by our lovely patrons over at patreon.com slash Vanguard Insider. You guys are amazing. If you want to support the channel or everything that's happening on the channel, you can simply do that by going over to patreon.com slash Vanguard Insider and become a patron today. But with that said... I'm Mr. Time Leap, and I'll see you guys in the next one!